Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and today I'm going to talk about my 2020 goals. By making this video, I thought that it would help me actually achieve my goals and push me to do that because it's all going to be on video. First up, before we get to my goals, I wanna know what your goals are. So leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you wanna achieve in 2020 and if there's something that I'm able to help with, let me know. So let's jump into my 2020 goals. I have a lot of goals for 2020, but I wanted to narrow it down to basically the larger goals that are going to be a little bit more difficult to obtain because some of the smaller goals that I have will actually be met on my way to the bigger goals. So right now I actually have this list in my phone so that I can look at it every day, but I'm also going to write it down on a whiteboard and stick it in my shop. So what are my 2020 goals? Goal number one. I want to release 52 videos this year. So the reason I picked 52 videos is I want to put out a video per week. If I do more than that, that's great, but 52 is the minimum that I want to be able to do. So 52 videos in a year doesn't seem like a lot if you're maybe a vlogger or you're somebody that releases videos every other day. But for me with a full-time job and the side business and everything else I've got going on, one video a week is a lot of work for me. So goal number two, I want to be able to collaborate with five channels outside of the maker community. So the reason that I say outside of the maker community is collaborating with people inside the maker community is really easy. A lot of people are willing to work together and try new things. But as part of my business, I also want to be able to work with people outside of the maker community because I wanna be able to meet new people in areas that I'm interested in and try to do some cool new projects with people that just have different perspectives. Goal number three, I'm going to attempt to contact at least five channels that I find influential or entertaining and ask to collaborate. Getting in contact with larger channels is very difficult. Even if you email them, sometimes they just don't respond. I don't have a lot of control over this goal, but what I can do is contact them through email or Instagram, whatever avenues that I can use and see if they'd like to collaborate. Now, I may never get a response, but if I've done my part to attempt to contact channels, then that's all I can really do. So in terms of collaborating, this could be working on a project together, working on a sign together, whatever it may be. So some of the channels that I find entertaining and influential are Simone Yetch, and I hope I said that right as well as What's Inside, Adam Savage, The King of Random, and Me and My Golf. So these are all channels that I watch every week on YouTube and just enjoy their content and what they're doing. And I think it'd be cool to try and collaborate with some of them. This may never happen, but if I at least try to contact them, the worst they can say is no or not respond at all. I'm gonna do what I can to try, and if nothing happens, nothing happens. But at least I can say that I tried to contact them to collaborate. Goal number four, I want to learn at least two new skills. One skill I definitely want to learn this year is silicone mold making. So using things like the Smooth On products to be able to take laser cut items or things that I make, create molds from them, and then try to make different things, maybe chocolates, maybe candies for my kids, or epoxy coasters, whatever it may be. But I want to learn how to do silicone mold making. So if you happen to know how to do this and you'd be willing to teach me, let me know in the comments below because I've been trying to figure out how to do it. And yes, I can watch a bunch of random YouTube videos and watch the learning process and figure out how to do it. But I may take a class in this or try to learn from an expert just to decrease the learning curve and cost. A couple of other things that I'd like to learn are welding, sewing, and powder coating. So I'm not saying I want to add these to what I do as a business, but I'd like to know the skill and learn how to do it so I can understand it better. And if I source things out for powder coating or whatever it may be, I understand more of the process and know what's going into it. Goal number five, I want to read at least 12 books by the end of the year. So I enjoy reading and I haven't had a lot of time to do this, but I've recently found a few books that are good for entrepreneurs, business, as well as just entertaining books. So I'm going to try to read 12 of them by the end of the year. 
To help with this on the podcast that I run with my co-host Martina Miller, which is Maker Vision Podcast, we started basically a monthly book club where we're going to read a book once a month, and this will help me with my goal. So the book for January that we're reading is Every Tool is a Hammer by Adam Savage. So if you enjoy reading or listening to audiobooks, I will say that that's a good book to start with, and it gave me a whole new perspective on checklist, and if you read the book, you'll understand what I mean. Goal number six, start playing golf again. When I was younger, I enjoyed playing golf with my dad. I was never very good at it, but I enjoyed going. A few videos ago, you may have seen that I made videos for Chris Trot from TaylorMade Golf. And as part of doing those signs, I did get some new irons, wedges, and putter for my golf set. That has driven me to want to be able to golf more. And actually just yesterday, I went golfing for the first time, and I think it's been four years, maybe five. And I did terrible, and by terrible, I mean I shot like a 123, which is bad. But I enjoyed myself, I enjoyed getting out there, and after going out on the course and having a good time, I started to figure out again what clubs I can hit from one distances, and I think the next time I play, I'll do even better. But my goal by the end of the year with golf is to try and go at least once a month, and by the end of the year, shoot under 100. Now I know that doesn't sound like much of a challenge to a lot of you, but when you've never had lessons and you're self-taught, and you're just trying to figure it out, under 100 is a good goal to start with. And the last goal for this list is to start a second channel for golf, fun, and enjoyment. Keyword being enjoyment. I don't want it to turn into work. I want it to be fun. And after talking to a lot of people that watch my videos, my friends, as well as doing polls on Instagram, a lot of people said that golf content and challenges and things like that should be its own channel because it's not really related to the maker experiment stuff. So I've actually already started this. I started a second Instagram, which is at ChipShotOfficial, if you want to follow that. My plan is to post videos of fun challenges with friends and course vlogs and things like that if I'm able to film. Now yesterday when I played golf, the tee times were back to back to back and filming wasn't really an option yesterday. So hopefully in the future, I will have that opportunity. So if you have ideas for videos that you'd like to see there, let me know in the comments below. I don't expect to be able to release a video every week, but I do want to try filming it just because I know it will help me get out on the course and actually get out and play. So that's going to do it for my 2020 goals. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this board and I'm going to stick it to the cabinet in my shop so that I can look at it when I come in here and just remember what my goals are, and help keep me on track. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Again, comment below what your 2020 goals are. And if you'd like to see more behind the scenes content, check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment. And that's gonna do it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.